Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new episode of One Science Per Second Modular Build with Dwiz and today we're doing some testing. First of all I've added these duplicating chests and the superloaders to this setup as well as a, mater a matter duplicator to these two tanks so we get all the resources we need as much as we need them. And then over uh, over in the game settings here I changed the speed to 100 so it gets a little quicker. Uh, I found quite a few mistakes. We had one big mistake going on over here I guess. Yes it was over here. Then I uh, found that we'll need to put this pump here and control its behavior so it's only running um, if this gets too full. So these tanks aren't full all the time and the refineries keep running like nearly all the time. This way we get more rocket fuel and we get a more constant production of uh, space science. Actually one thing I would like to change there uh, is to get those on both sides of the belt uh, but we could also just well let's do it here it should be done here I guess uh, so now those are empty let's change the game speed again and let's get those uh, maybe well, actually, we could get rid of two of those and just do something like this, of course. So, now let's have a look into our production statistics and go for one hour. As you can see, these space sciences are produced quite regularly. That is really nice. Uh, we have 62 uh, per minute or 60. Uh, so these are around 60 all the time. That's really nice to have. And this one is at 66.7. So that's really doing a great job. Actually, if we would put on maybe something like this instead, uh, we would definitely see that this is quite more constant, I guess, because we would also get a backlog uh, as soon as we produce more than 60 per minute. So I'll leave that running at quite a uh, higher speed now and give you a final update in a minute or so. So actually now it is, I think, at a point where we can say it works. I've again changed a few things, for example here in the input. I've made sure that, well we can actually get rid of those I guess. Uh, I've made sure that we have more input for of copper for the green circuits. This way more machines over here work. Not all of them are working all the time, but there are also more machines than we would need. So this way we get more uh, red circuits in as well as more uh, blue circuits. And that means we have a higher production of rocket control units. And this way we get more, um, more rockets fired or more constant rocket firing. Actually right now we are waiting on the next one otherwise uh, these won't work of course. Down here of course we can also shorten these belts. Not necessary. And then soon enough, hopefully, we'll get the next rocket up and then this will be fine. 
but actually it works the way I want it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small testing episode. Next time we'll be dealing with the rail yard. Have a good one and stay safe. Bye!